Yeah. As far as what will come next coming out of Deadpool and Wolverine. So here's so here's something that I did see. This wasn't the, the thing from the past that I want to ask you guys about. But we spoke about this a little bit on the San Diego Comic-Con episode. But the leading rumor is that Earth 1005 is the Earth that Deadpool and Wolverine are currently in right now. This is the same timeline that Logan happened in. And... A lot of people, um, based on everything that's coming up, going towards Secret Wars, a lot of people have been theorizing that this might be the Earth that, um, I keep forgetting the word, it's not Converge, but will collide with Earth 616 and eventually create Battle World. But one of the questions that I got from uh, my coworker was, if Earth 1005 is the Earth that Logan took place on. Why was X-23 in the void? Hmm. Because they move people to the void when they're obstructing, like, their decisions or, like, they could alter the timelines. Or it, it was stated from, like, a lecture in them that when they came to Pruner of Timelines, they took out people who wouldn't go freely or wouldn't go quietly resistance basically so my theory on that was so logan when did logan come out like somewhere between 2015 and 2017 2017 logan came out in 2017 so if we talk in 2024 and if logan was the anchor being and that earth was already deteriorating my theory is that they probably took her out early because the TVA and Loki season one, they was just pruning timelines like y'all gotta go. Like they was just pressing that like that Jimmy New them Jimmy Neutron robots delete, 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 delete. Mm -hmm. But then it they flipped it, you know, they stopped doing that, which has led us to the TVA now. My thought is is that they were about to hit the big button on that earth. They took out X23 because they knew she was gonna be a problem and then decided that they wasn't gonna do it and then didn't put her back. So my whole thing is, isn't also from the Logan universe, a lot of the X-Men like died or whatever, and now it's just a whole new generation. Is that like their purpose to create well, new X-Men? Well, we don't know if they have mutants. That's the other thing. I don't know. Well, let's let's go back to the San Diego Comic-Con episode. I also saw a theory. The, the other leading rumor is that Monica Rambeau, at the end of the Marvels, when she ended up with Beast in that X-Men facility, that's also the same Earth that uh, Deadpool and Wolverine are on. Now, if that's not correct, let me know in the comments. Let's get this sorted out, because this multiverse shit is confusing. But if that's the case, I wonder how they're going to explain that. Unless Deadpool and Wolverine happened way before the Marvels, or if they were happening at the same time, and with them bringing in the wolf, this Wolverine into this timeline, maybe they, they changed something. They reset something. Right. So. And, 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 and it, also, it could also be that we might be overthinking this shit. This is, at, at the end of the day, this is a Deadpool movie. We might be overthinking a lot of shit. Yeah, because it's like... To this movie. Maybe they're just on the earth and we got new characters and it's like that. Maybe like maybe we we could be thinking too deeply into it. Yeah. So that one scene where they show Deadpool being held by Thor, I've seen people hollering, oh my God, that's going to happen in Secret Wars. Possibly. They did hint at that a lot. So yeah, they I said, wonder. They said, they said that this is going to happen in the distant future. So it could happen in Secret Wars or... On the back end, this is a Deadpool movie. It could not. I could see him. In the comics, does Deadpool become an, an Avenger? Does he ever accomplish his dream? I don't. I don't know. I'm gonna I'm be honest with you. Yeah. The, the, the Avengers, the Avengers have had many different rosters, but I, out of the many rosters that I've seen, I haven't seen Deadpool in one of them. And I hope honestly, he accomplishes his dream. Honestly, truly. I don't even know if that's like a comic book accurate dream for him or if Ryan Reynolds was just like, hey, why not? 
to make mm-hmm. a funny scene with him and Happy Hogan and him talking about smash debating. <laughs> honestly, honestly, like even though like Tony Stark is only coming in as like Doom or whatever, I would have loved to see how a Ryan Reynolds Deadpool and a Tony Stark Iron Man interact. Like I could just see Tony Stark getting like overly pissed off or getting along with him. Like there's I, no in between. He wouldn't want to do it. No. <laughs> nah. I I don't think I don't think the Avengers thing was supposed to be serious. I honestly think that that was a play on the fact that Deadpool is officially in the MCU. So mm-hmm. let's think of all the MCU places that it would be fun to see Deadpool in. Oh yeah, Avengers Tower. Oh yeah, the TVA. Yeah. Oh yeah, let him get held by Thor. Oh yeah, let's show him all these clips from Endgame and Infinity War and shit. Let's really emphasize that yeah, your boy Deadpool is in the MCU. The only Fox ca- Fox character who gets his own solo movie in the MCU and everybody else are cameos that may or may not be seen again. He made it. He made the cut. He made it. Mama, I made it. XOXO Deadpool. <laughs> <laughs> That's something he would say. Yeah. But, um, yeah, I really, I really don't have any theories coming out of this movie. I, I I just, I know there can be theories. I know we can sit here and talk all day and like really dissect this movie, like with the TVA and the multiverse and all of that stuff. But I honestly feel like with it being a Deadpool movie, we may be overthinking a lot. Yeah, I say let's just enjoy the ride. I honestly, I honestly don't see Deadpool showing up until we get to those Avengers movies. And it may just be a joke. Like, it, it honestly literally might be a family got cut scene, him doing something stupid, and then we getting back to the real story. Mm-hmm. I think I like seeing him in his own movies. That's... Yeah, I don't that's, I don't know if he would get... I don't know if they would make more Deadpool movies. Like, I, uh, I get yeah, it. Like, uh, I get it. Like, this is his first movie in the MCU, but but this is his third movie in the franchise overall. So I would hate for him to, I would hate for them to milk it like Thor Mm -hmm. and make a Thor 4 for whatever reason. Yeah, the only thing I can see Deadpool doing is being like an extra in another movie. Mm -hmm. You're right. I couldn't, unless they do another, like something like this, where it's like, we just need a random reason to describe our decisions as a company. I don't see another Deadpool movie. Yeah. If anything, use somebody else to get this kind of comedic spoof feel if y'all can dr doom they could make it where dr doom just takes out kane like the first 20 it could be an end credit scene of fantastic four it could be the first five minutes of avengers doomsday just like how those first